Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. Today, let's do something a little different. Let's talk about Cricut projects we can sell. <laughs> okay, so I know most of us craft for fun, but you've probably heard someone say at some point, you could sell that, at least once or twice, right? And well, I agree, crafting is a skill, and if it's right for you, it can also be a source of income. Not all projects are prime for selling though. Some take too long to make, while others have expensive materials. So I have picked a dozen awesome things that you can make on a Cricut that I think are good starting points if you'd like to sell your crafts. And even if you don't wanna sell your stuff, I think you'll still love these projects. So come with me to my craft table so I can show you all of the awesome things. Welcome to Maker Market. I have lots of fun things to show you today. Now you might already recognize some things and everything you see here is something that you can make on your Cricut and sell to others who actually want it because these are awesome. I had a lot of fun picking these projects for you and they were not picked randomly. I considered things like the cost of materials and time to make them the average price points for like what they sell for, how popular they are with buyers, and whether or not they're easy to ship. As we go through each item, I'll be scoring them from one to five in a variety of different categories, with five being the best. Then I'll give them an overall score. I picked projects that scored well, yes, but some depend on your situation. Hopefully this will help you choose items that will work well for your situation and goals. Remember that every crafter and every buyer is different, so these are just suggestions to get you started. Inspiration. So for all the project links, visit jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Projects to Sell to find the tools and materials for each project on their pages. I used a combination of the Cricut Maker, Explore, and Joy for these projects, so there is something for every Cricut crafter to try. This link is also where you'll find details on the free care cards that I'm showing you in this video. Care cards are great for pairing with your projects for gift giving as well as selling, and I'm showing both the free designs and a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make them. I have a couple different versions for you to try. And now let's take a closer look at each Cricut project to sell. I'll start with the ones behind me so you're not trying to figure out what these are while we talk. Tumblers and cups remain super popular. Everyone always needs a new one. I mean, we got a drink, right? And there are so many customization options, especially if you get into sublimation printing. Custom tumblers can fetch really good prices and they're easy to sell both in person and online with shipping. And while they can take some time and money investment, sure, I think their popularity more than makes up for it. I would give them a five on my scorecard. I think they're such strong sellers, in fact, that I've included a care card for vinyl tumblers in my free care card designs in this project at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut projects to sell. And see what it looks like right here. Just pop one of these care cards in with each tumbler that you sell and the buyer will know how to care for it perfectly. I have lots of designs that work with tumblers, but my Starbucks cups at jennifermaker.com slash DIY customized Starbucks cups are very popular. Now, if you want to work with different tumblers, my layered animal tumblers, which I have right here, so cute, they're color changing. These are at jennifermaker.com slash how to layer vinyl on Cricut, and they are super popular too. Or if you want to learn about sublimating on tumblers, visit my tutorial at jennifermaker.com slash sublimation on tumblers. Okay, so tumblers are awesome, but what about mugs? Mugs are another popular item since they make great gifts. If you buy them in bulk, plain mugs are pretty inexpensive and they take adhesive vinyl really well. With a mug press, your sublimation and infusible ink options really open things up. And they don't go for quite as much as tumblers, and yes, they could break in the mail without careful packaging, but I'd still give them a four overall on my scorecard. Again, there are tons of designs that work well on mugs, but I really love the cute kawaii and funny faces and the infusible ink designs. You can find them and most of my other designs over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Mug Ideas. 
And I even have a mug box that you can use for packaging at jennifermaker.com slash mug gift boxes. And I've also made a care card for vinyl mugs too, which fits perfectly inside mugs. Mugs are popular, but let's talk about something even more popular. T-shirts are another thing that people love. Now it can be fun to make tons of different designs. As you can see, I've done here. Um, I love making shirts, but I think the best way to sell shirts is in custom groups, like making custom shirts for a family reunion. You can buy shirts in the sizes you need and use lots of the same materials and designs. That way you can spend less, work faster, and know you won't be stuck with lots of leftovers. And since shirts pack really well, you can easily ship them to wherever your customer is. They do take time, sure, especially if you need to communicate about the design and adjust it for different sizes. But I would still give shirts a strong five, honestly, because people just love t-shirts so much. And whether you want to make a dozen shirts in one style or many, I have so many options. Most of these tutorials have customization steps too. And while most use iron-on vinyl, you can also use infusible ink, screen printing, and yes, even sublimation. This is a fun bleach shirt. The t-shirt care card that I've included for you, which is right here, is included with any of these techniques in mind and will keep your work beautiful for many washes. You can slip it right in the bag with each order. And my layered iron-on vinyl tutorial is a good starting point over at jennifermaker.com slash how to layer vinyl on a shirt. And my sunflower shirt, which you can see right here, will show you how to create registration marks to line up complex designs. And that's over at jennifermaker.com slash layer iron-on vinyl shirt. Now let's niche down a little bit to Wine bags. My first few Cricut project ideas might have seemed obvious to you, sure, but here's one that you might not have thought of. Wine bags are super cute, functional, and an eco-conscious way to give a nice bottle of wine or another fancy drink. And the recipient can reuse the bags however they like. It doesn't have to be for wine, so they can have a nice gift even after the drink is gone. The bags are not quite as popular or as high priced as some other items, but around the holidays, they do skyrocket for last minute party gifts because they're so easy. But they're just so simple to make and they take up so little room that you could create a bunch to have on hand and sell whenever you can. I give wine bags a four on my scorecard. And as long as a design can fit on the bag and has a cheery feel, you have lots of options for wine bags. I did design a few specifically for these handy gifts, of course. I especially love using them as thank you gifts. I have free designs available over at jennifermaker.com slash DIY Cricut gift ideas and over at jennifermaker.com slash DIY wine gift bags. Now let me show you another small but mighty project idea. Stickers! Everywhere you look, there are stickers these days, and they're super easy to make with a Cricut. Lots of small business owners are doing it every day, and you can too. It can take a bit of time to choose or create your designs and get fast at it, but I have several tutorials to help you. You'll also want to invest in a good color printer, but it will be totally worth it. Once you're up and running, you can make die cut stickers, a whole sheet of kiss cut stickers, or even start making custom items for other small businesses. Stickers are fun and super popular. And since they're so light, stickers ship super easily, making your market huge. I give them a four overall, a five if you already have strong illustration or printing skills to make the learning curve faster. My sticker tutorials will help you get ready too. You should definitely check them out, uh, both for ways to add shine to your designs and protect them against moisture. A soggy sticker is a sad sticker. <laughs> that info is available at jennifermaker.com slash easy print and cut stickers. So if you can do stickers, you can also do magnets. Magnets are like stickers, but they take a bit more time. However, Far fewer people are making magnets right now, so you can price them higher and have less competition. That's always good, right? <laughs> they're just as easy to ship as stickers are, and they're another great item to sell to small businesses if you want to make many of the same design. Magnets are helpful marketing items after all. 
I give them a four just because they're not quite as popular as stickers, but with the right market, you could do really well selling magnets. And they're so cute. Look at me, look at these. <laughs> I have an easy tutorial on fridge magnets that you can easily customize to use with other images or designs of your own. You can find those over at jennifermaker.com slash DIY fridge magnets. Ready for another idea? How about cards? I know there are a lot of card makers in the Cricut world and I can totally see why. The machine makes precise cuts, drawn lines, and scores so easy. It's a perfect card making friend. And if you use some of the card specific tools and materials like the card mat or insert cards, they go even faster. There's always a special occasion coming up that someone needs a special handmade card for. So they're a good item to consider selling. If you really enjoy making cards and wanna try a higher price point, making pop-up or shaker cards will set you apart from other sellers. They take up so little space, you can make them whenever you like and set them aside until your next selling opportunity. Overall, I would give cards a four on my scorecard. Definitely check out my Cards for Beginners over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Cards, which is a great place to start. But again, the options are nearly endless. And if you include an envelope, make sure it fits and it's sturdy enough for shipping. And yes, let's talk about envelopes. I'm separating envelopes from cards here because they have so many uses. Of course, including an envelope with each card you sell is a good move, especially if it's a custom size or bulkier than a normal card. But envelopes can be so fast to make. Get creative and think of other ways to market them. You could offer themed gift card envelopes. You could make them out of recycled materials, take custom orders for special events, or partner with another small business to use your envelopes in their packaging. Work in some branded stickers and you have a winner. And so, and so cute. I mean, you just don't see envelopes like this very often, now do you? And then unless you do some specialty work, envelopes don't fetch a high price, but I give them some extra points for being so fast and easy to store and ship. Overall, I give them a three, but if you can find the right market, they could be a five for you. My tutorial on how to make envelopes has tons of options that you can sell or use as inspiration. That tutorial is available over at jennifermaker.com slash how to make an envelope. So speaking of being easy to store and ship, let's talk about earrings. Some of the best items to sell are things that look much harder to make than they actually are, and Cricut earrings fit that bell. Once you get comfortable making faux or real leather on your Cricut, you'll be turning these beautiful earrings out in so many styles and colors. And with a bit of work, you can add vinyl details that make them real attention getters. Assembling earrings and other pieces of jewelry takes some time and dexterity, but it is a good activity for a rainy day once you have a bunch ready for the hardware. I deducted a few points for that, but they're so popular, relatively rare at markets, and easy to ship that I give them a four all the same. I have some beautiful earring designs for you at jennifermaker.com slash DIY faux leather earrings and a few more over at jennifermaker.com slash faux leather earrings cricket. Also, I have a handy earring display card, which is super easy to create and instantly makes your work look more professional. Just like these, right? Presentation really counts when it comes to selling and marketing. You can get this earring card file as a part of the 2022 Maker Academy VIP pass over at makeracademy.com. And I've got another fun Cricut project idea for you. Coasters. Coasters are another fast item that not many crafters are capitalizing on these days. You can use your Cricut with these super functional items in so many ways. Decorate them with vinyl, sublimate a design, or create a stencil to paint or etch the surface. You can get really creative. And while coasters are a great product on their own, Packaging them with complimentary mugs or cups is a sure way to sell more. Matching things, people love them. And it's an instant gift that will save your buyer so much time, especially if you offer custom designs. And this is another project that you could offer to small businesses, especially restaurants or cafes. Overall, I would give coasters a three for the average market, but with some creativity and connections, they're easily a five.
My tutorial at jennifermaker.com slash custom cork coasters covers decorating cork coasters with vinyl, but don't let that limit you. Just look up which materials or techniques work with the coasters that you have and then get creative. You can have lots of fun and do all sorts of neat things. Coasters are fast and easy, and I know another project idea like that. Keychains. If you're looking for fast, easy projects that you can make in bulk with limited space and supplies, keychains might be the answer. They're super fast and fun to make, so you don't have to charge a lot to make a profit. That does mean you'll probably want to make quite a few at once, of course, but they're so fast and fun, it's not really an issue. If you're feeling creative, you can cut out a bunch of design elements and initials at the correct size and combine them however you like. And since the keychains are so small, they're a great way to use up small vinyl scraps that you might have laying around. These are a perfect project for you and your Cricut Joy while you're watching TV. You can even use vinyl that you've carefully weeded from other intricate designs, like my vinyl heart, which you see right over here. If you're ready to make a lot of them, keychains are a five in my opinion. Now, while I have some fun designs that you can start with at jennifermaker.com slash easy acrylic keychains, they're really just to get you started. Once you learn the cutting and layering techniques that I cover, you'll be making custom keychains in seconds. They're really quite easy. And I have one last Cricut idea for you. Signs. I saved my favorite for last. I think signs are the reason many of us got started with Cricut. It is just so easy to make a sign for every occasion with these machines. <laughs> Depending on your machine, you can make small signs, long signs, even ones with interchangeable wood symbols like my home design up here. Some of the signs, especially ones that involve painting or cutting wood, definitely take more time and materials than my other ideas, but people love them so much that they are willing to invest in your skills and pay for your work. Signs are very popular. Now, while you might want to make the more involved signs as custom orders, the simpler ones are faster to make than you may think, especially if you use a long sheet of smart vinyl, like on the porch signs right here. Now, keep in mind that signs are meant to be seen and they're bigger than your average craft and cost more to ship. Factor that into your pricing if you want to send them to your buyers. So even though some designs are an investment and harder to ship, I am still going to give signs a five because they are so consistently popular year after year. If you're selling locally or sticking to custom orders, it's not a question at all. They are worth exploring for sure. Now, I have a lot of designs that work for different signs, but you can learn the techniques from my wooden home sign over at jenniferhermaker.com slash DIY interchangeable home signs and my vinyl signs at jenniferhermaker.com slash DIY porch signs. Then you can adjust the process to fit whatever you or your customer can dream of. So that's a lot of Cricut projects to sell, don't you think? I hope you got some good ideas and will keep them in mind if you start selling your work. Now, I didn't get into specific prices because there are so many factors that influence a price, like your location, cost of supplies, fees, and lots of other things that we can cover at a later date. You will have to research and experiment to find the prices that work best for you. But no matter what, remember that your time and skills are valuable. Be confident and price your beautiful work accordingly so that selling can be a positive experience instead of stressful. This is so important. I cannot stress this enough, really. Now, something else that you may be wondering about is whether you can use my designs on projects to sell. And the answer is yes, you can. No commercial license is needed. All I ask is that you let folks know that you're using a Jennifer Maker design. When you sell them, it can be a note on your Etsy listing or on a little card on your table at the market. And I'd love to see photos of what you make and sell. So please share them with me. They totally make my day when you send them. And remember, care cards go a long way towards happy customers, which means a happy you too. So get my care cards for free over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Projects to sell.
And if you have any questions about making any of these awesome, quick and easy projects that I didn't answer here, let me know. I love to help. Leave your question below this video or ask over at our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.